Is the administration right to be taking credit, it seems, for this? I do think so, because sanctions have never been applied mm. to North Korea to this level. And you have to admit that Chinese, I mean, no other administration was able to get the Chinese to implement sanctions to this level. So to, to I mean, it's true that a lot of pressure has been applied to the North Korean regime. Um, on, you know, more now than ever before in the past. So the president clearly, as you heard Heather allude to there, Eugenia Gibson, wants to be sort of getting his fingers in the pie. He wants to be in the mix when it comes to what's happening with North Korea, when it comes to what's happening with China. You are seeing that very clearly. And I pose the same question to you, Ginger. Is he right to be taking credit for some of this? He is right to be taking credit. His administration is the one that's executing this. Uh, there's a risk, though, mm -hmm. when you take credit, if it goes wrong, right. you end if up it taking fails, the blame. Right. So what happens then? If, in fact, these talks don't go off or they go poorly, that could be a, 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 a real problem. We know the president has a history of trying to blame others when things go wrong on his watch. Um, so I expect we would see that. Uh, but we're talking about massive international relations with multinational yeah. uh, discussions with a lot of leaders. Um, and you need to be careful. Um, and with the shakeup at the State Department, the shakeup in the White House, this is a really difficult um, sort of course for him to navigate. Uh, these advisors are going to be important to keeping him on that course. Well, I, I absolutely agree. But we also have the national security team in place that's very hot. Hawkish on North Korea. Sure. We're going to have Particularly John now, John Bolton. Yeah, yeah. yeah, absolutely. So we do have to make sure the, the talks do. That's succeed. what I was thinking yeah. about because John Bolton, I don't think, has the type of confidence that North Korea is going to back away from what they're doing in the, yes. the, the, on this, in the area of nuclear uh, weapons, whether they're sanctions or negotiations or not. So whether or not the president will pay that much attention mm -hmm. to him is what a lot of us are paying attention to. And in the to midst that. of it all, you also have news now that the president has scored his first trade deal, unilateral trade deal, with South Korea. With Obviously, this very close ally working with us now in the negotiation to have this meeting. The Bloomberg headline uh, talks about the idea that the president has sort of ticked this one off the box here. How important is that to the way that this relationship is moving forward? I think it's very important because how the U.S. government operates with South Korea on the area related to trade is definitely impacted upon how things work yeah. with North Korea and China. Like, we can't operate with these countries It's not in the silo. Right. Not right. at all. Last thoughts to you, Sue. Well, let's really hope that our, uh, the meeting between Trump and Kim Jong-un goes well. All hands on deck to make sure that that happens, because otherwise, I think we're in trouble. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me, or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.